The late, great LJK said I used to rail at engineers who thought that if you can't measure it, it doesn't exist. There's an element of that in McLaren's starter sports series, particularly the 570S, where spectacular performance doesn't quite fill the soul. What McLaren has so far failed to understand is that at this level, $198,950 before state and federal taxes, its products need to appeal to more than just number-obsessed track junkies. While incisive turn-in, roll-free handling, and jet fighter fast tick some boxes, others such as space and grace are left resolutely unticked. GT derives from the Grand Tour, a 17th-century European rite of passage cultural tour undertaken by well-heeled young blades anxious to see and hear the great works of art and music for themselves, food, wine, and other earthly pleasures might also have been involved. And while the name has been lifted by Clarkson, Hammond, and May for their forthcoming Amazon car show, true petrol heads will more properly associate Grand Tour with the Italian Gran Turismo, a car capable of high speed, cross-continental peregrination in style, with space for expensive luggage. Whoops, did I mention Italy? Not something done lightly in the presence of McLaren which has a culture of omerta when it comes to rivals, Ferrari, Lamborghini, and even Audi and Porsche. McLaren cars might be passionate and fired with the winning spirit of its racing founder Bruce McLaren, the mercurial and talented Kiwi who died in a testing accident at Goodwood 46 years ago, but its clinical approach to the business of making cars leaves some cold.